Okay, in, uh, in this next video, I'm going to talk to you about two features that will come in handy in terms of your design uh, strategies. Um, one of them is locking and the other is hiding and showing. So I've got here a, an example of something that I'm working on. Uh, this is like a little model home. And inside you can see that I've got some furniture and uh, on the outside, of course, just a simple roof and the walls and floor. Um, but let's just say, so if I wanted to see inside to see how everything was laid out, I could take, uh, let's say, the roof, and I could make it a hole for one, and that would allow me to see inside. I could also make it transparent, and that would allow me to see inside. Um, but neither of those allow me to actually work with anything inside unless unless I actually moved the roof, or if I zoomed in so close that I can go through like this, and then see inside, you can actually get inside there. But if I, was, if I just wanted to be above and you know move things around a bit, um, there's actually one other feature, and that's called hiding. And so hiding can be seen right here. Uh, and what that does is you select the object, I'm gonna make this solid again. You can select the object that you want to hide, and right up at the top right, you will click on this little light bulb. And what it does is it hides it from view temporarily and allows you to work as if it weren't there, but you, you, you didn't get rid of it. It's actually still there, it's just hidden. So for example, if I wanted to, if in my little house, this is my television set and I wanted to move my sofa around, I could do all these things right here uh, and, and position everything here without having to worry about um, something getting in my way. And then when I'm ready to show my roof again, I go up to this one, which is now uh, available, which is show everything. And that So if you've hidden three or four different items, this will show all of them at once. Okay, just like that. And the second thing I wanted to show you was the locking feature. So let me um, let me hide this one one more time and I'll show you. Let's just say that I wanted to move things around inside the base of this home, but I didn't want the home to move at all. I didn't want to take any chances that the home itself uh, would, would uh, move out of position, even by chance. So what I can do is I can click on the home object, and over here to the top right, next to the hide button, is the lock button. And what that allows me to do is it leaves it in place, so that I, even if I tried to click on it and move it, I can't do that. I can't even resize it or change anything about it. It is locked. Um, and the great thing about that is then I can maneuver everything else inside without having to worry about actually um, adjusting the base of this home. Um, and I'm able to freely take everything else and put it wherever it needs to be. And again, if I click on the object that's locked, I can unlock it through the same button. All right, so that is locking, unlocking, hiding, and showing.